On the night of August 24, there was a drone attack on the city of Ostrogozhsk, Voronezh region, Russia. Local telegram channels reported on this. As a result of the attack of the kamikaze drone belonging to the Ukrainian army, an explosion and fire occurred in the ammunition warehouse. About 200 people were evacuated from three nearby villages. Two people are said to have been injured. There is a training center for armored vehicle service specialists in Ostrogozhsk. According to the governor of the Voronezh region, Alexander Guzov, the drones that attacked the area were allegedly neutralized by air defense systems, and the fire began due to falling debris. However, the governor did not specify the exact location of the fire or what was detonating. He claims that no casualties or damage to civilian buildings have been reported so far. Multiple Russian channels reported that an ammunition depot is burning in Ostrogozhsk. Russia is tracking down and detaining Russian deserters fleeing war abroad, the Wall Street Journal reports. It is noted that two and a half years of the war unleashed against Ukraine have literally devastated the professional army of Russia. The seriousness of the shortage of soldiers was revealed by the operation of the armed forces of Ukraine in the Kursk region. Russia has not been able to return its territories, even after the withdrawal part of its forces from Ukraine, the publication writes. It is noted that due to the colossal losses in Ukraine, Russia used aggressive measures throughout the war to try to maintain the size of its army. In particular, the Russian Federation has stepped up its campaign to punish draft dodgers and track down those who have left the country. The UN Special Rapporteur on the Russian Federation, Mariana Gazarova, stated that the Russian authorities are effectively involved in the kidnapping of deserters abroad. According to the WSJ, about 50,000 Russians have deserted or refused orders to fight. Russian lawyers say the numbers are much higher, as many are quietly coaxed to return by promises of lenient treatment or threats to their families in Russia. In 2022, Russia passed new laws toughening penalties for desertion and disobedience, including up to 15 years in prison and confiscation of property. According to court statistics, authorities have opened more than 10,000 criminal cases on such charges, the publication says. Private military companies often referred to by the West as mercenary organizations and Storm Z units, which are described as penal military formations, have the highest levels of desertion, Russian independent outlet The Insider reported in late May. Moscow has relied on these fighters for some of the bloodiest fighting in the most intense areas of the front lines in Ukraine. Verstka, an independent Russian news outlet that was founded shortly after the Ukraine war began, said in an investigation that hundreds of Russians who refuse to fight in Ukraine are being forcibly deployed to the battlefield. Some are held at gunpoint and are physically abused or detained if they resist. Verstka's investigation said that Russian authorities may be pivoting away from prosecuting military deserters and cancelling their trials to redeploy them to the front lines in Ukraine in an attempt to boost the army's power in the war.